Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here drinking my pineapple juice because I already finished my coffee. Oh, I'm tired. I did not sleep well last night. So today's going to be a lazy day. Well, I've done most of the stuff I'm going to do today already. First thing in the morning, uh, for one, I took the baby chicks out in the van and so I'm going to show you them. They're having the time of their life in the back of that van. Um, dehydrating some more stuff. And I'm going to go have a look around at my garden because I think I got some more tomatoes ready to pick. Today in the dehydrator, I've got summer squash. I've been rotating the trays. I don't think it's going to be done by the end of today. That's okay. We got tomorrow. Oh, hopefully it'll rain tomorrow, but I don't know. They'll dry out eventually. I took the baby chicken yard down just to give Papa some more room. For right now, I've just kind of like put it in front of this. Oh, my poor juggling mint. But... Look, look, these two passion fruit vines are, well, they're growing, and I had some blooms on them. They were really pretty. They're kind of wilty right now, but these over here made it too. I am surprised. A couple parts of it um, died, but I still got more coming up. So these are definitely going to make it. Huge tomatoes. Oh my gosh, they're huge growing in this bucket. Uh, these are beefsteak. They'll ripen eventually, hopefully very soon, because I want some tomatoes. I don't know, I may pick that big, fat, juicy one and fry it up, make some fried green tomatoes. These cucumbers here, <laughs> they're not getting a whole lot of sun, but they're a little wilty right now, but they are starting to get bloomed, so I don't know, maybe I'll get some cucumbers. Yeah, I think a few of these are ready to pick. I may leave them on the vine one more day so that they can get really good and, and ripe. I hope you're, I'm filming so you can see because I want to dehydrate them. I've been eating quite a few of them too. Oh yeah, more over here. I don't think these will be completely ripe by tomorrow, but they're getting there. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, I'm hoping that these will be done by tomorrow. Um, at least the ones that are red right now. But check this out. I got a, what do you call those? Celebrity tomato that is starting to ripen finally. Hooray. Yeah, I've got quite a few tomatoes coming on. Makes me happy. This corn. I am actually going to get corn. I'm probably not going to get a ton of corn um, because I don't think I planted enough plants. But there is corn on each of these plants. Well, at least in this garden bed. Yep, there's corn there. I don't have corn on all of these yet. There's one on that plant. Yeah, none on these. None on these. I don't know why. There's a corn coming there. And then over here. Oh yeah. See the one back there? Got corn there. Corn there. And that's it for the corn here. I cannot believe it. But one thing I've noticed when I've driven by, you know, fields of growing corn, is they put them a lot closer together. I'm talking... I could have planted twice as many corns as I have right here. So next year, I'll know that I can do that um, because they just, they help support each other and they'll help kind of like pollinate each other. Um, so yeah, next year, I'm definitely going to do this again, but I'm going to plant more corn. There's going to be more in each bed and hopefully I'll get a bigger yield. I'm excited though. Oh my gosh, two of them are out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, let me fix this. I don't know how they got out. I think they're all accounted for. I'm gonna get some oats or something and bring it out here, sprinkle it out to see if we can get all of them. I remember now, see down here, there's this big space. <laughs> and that's how they got out. There's no way, there's nowhere else they could have gotten out because um, they can't fit through these little slots. So let me go get some oatmeal and see if I can get them all out here. I'm out of oatmeal, so I'm just gonna give them some of these. This has a little bit more calcium in it anyhow, and see if I can't bring them all out. Come on, sweet babies. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hi, beauty. I'll give you some too. Here you go. 
come on. Oh, there's some underneath of there. Let's try this again. Sorry if I'm not filming all that great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Beauty, you coming to visit the baby chicks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. They're all in here. Look at how big they've gotten. Just unbelievable. I don't even know if they can break those Cheerios up. We'll see. <laughs> Come on, babies. Come on out so everybody can see you. <sighs> All right, beauty. You gonna be mother hen? <laughs> She's curious about them. Look at my rabbits. They're chilling out. They like to push the bedding aside in that tray inside there and just sleep on the cool metal. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. My parents wanted me to show the apple trees. They're doing great. I need to pull that netting apart and, and weed the center. It's only there so the chickens don't scratch all the mulch down to the ground. But this one had a bunch of blooms and some apples on it. The apples are all gone. They are all totally gone. Um, this one needs to be trimmed back. I think after after this season, I don't know exactly when is the best time to trim them back, but I need to trim some of that back to kind of make it, because I've had to kind of stake it. Um, <laughs> it's doing great though. Yep, plenty of leaves. Some of them are kind of brownish just because it's been so hot, but they are really just growing. There's new growth all the time. I love my apple trees. I may get a couple more, you know, just a couple more out this way. We'll just have to see. Whew, it's a hot one today. It feels good in the shade, Ooh, in the sun. It is just hot, hot, hot. What you doing, Miss Roxy? Such a pretty girl, but she has turned into a holy terror. She chases the other chickens around. Well, pretty soon you're going to have two more barred rocks with you that look just like you. I would love it if they would all kind of stick close, but who knows with this one. She's just gorgeous. Hey, Roxy. Isn't she pretty? Anyway, I'm going to go chill out on the porch with Papa because it's shady on the porch right now. And uh, think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. There's lots to be done. I'd love to chop up some wood. So I may have to find me some wood to chop up and split up because i got to get going on that. Right now I've just got a little bit um, and it needs to set up and dry. So I need to get going on that. <laughs> I do. Anyhow, I think that's enough for today. That's all i got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.